Good morning. Confess with me now. Jesus is my Lord. And the Word of God is the most valuable possession in my life. Say with me now. The Word of God is life unto me that finds it and health and medicine to all of my flesh. You know, I was just thinking how wonderful it is that God has given us a way to walk in His divine health and His divine life all the days of our long life on this earth. And He has given us promises of long life. I believe this morning that as the Word of God goes forth, that it enters into your mind and your hearts as light. In Matthew, I believe it was, um, just a moment, let me look up the scripture. In Matthew chapter 14, verse 36, it says, As many as touched him were made perfectly whole. So what was Jesus preaching? He was preaching perfect wholeness from the Father. So as this word goes forth this morning, like I said, I believe it enters into your mind and into your heart as light and that you become, as you hear the word, because that's the key, hearing and receiving the word of God. And that's what it says in Mark chapter four. He that hears the word and receives it and understands it in his heart. So as you hear and receive the word of God and it enters into your hearts as light, I believe even this moment, you become perfectly whole. So that is the will of God for you. And you know, it didn't take them weeks and days. They, it was the word of God that was going forth and they heard it and they received it and they were made perfectly whole in that moment, in a moment's time. So God is no respecter of persons. And Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So hear and receive that word now and say, Father, I thank you that Jesus has made me perfectly whole. Yesterday, one of the uh, scriptures that is medicine to all of your flesh that I gave you by the Holy Spirit was Psalms 103. So let's review that this morning. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not, or in other words, remember all of his benefits. Remember it, purposefully remember it. Don't forget all of his benefits. Who hath forgiven, and we put it in the past tense because we're on this side of the cross, so now the work has been done at Calvary, and we are taking, praise God, we are receiving the benefits of what Jesus did on the cross, who hath forgiven all of our iniquities and who hath healed each one of all of our diseases. And then he goes on and says, who crowns us, who crowns me, personalizes, personalize it, excuse me. He crowns me with his love and my family, with his loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies my mouth with good things. That can include your teeth. It can include any part of your natural mouth, but it can also include the words that you speak, that he satisfies your mouth with speaking words, that good words, because he creates the fruit of our lips. He satisfies our mouth with good things. And I've used this for my teeth, that my teeth are healthy, perfect, clean, and straight because he satisfies my mouth with good things. They never chip, crack, or break, and they stay in. They are perfectly whole all the days of my long life on this earth. He crowns, let's see, he satisfies our mouth with good things. And so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. The eagles are so strong and and soaring and uh, just so purposeful. But he renews our youth 
as the eagles are so strong. Isn't that a good word? He renews our youth. There's another scripture in Job that says we return to the days of our youth. So in our physical body, we keep the wisdom of God. We don't want the wisdom that we had in our youth, but we keep the wisdom of God. But in our body, our skin, our bones, our heart, our liver, our other organs, uh, that we return to the days of our youth. That's a promise that we put in our mouth and speak into our heart so that the word will bring substance of that. Isn't that good news? You know, Sarah, when she was in her 90s, she was so beautiful that the Pharaoh wanted her. And so we have, that was old covenant. And now we have the life himself on the inside of us. Resurrection life himself is on the inside of us. So we acknowledge that, so say it with me now, my youth is renewed like the eagles and I have returned to the days of my youth. So let, let me go through Psalms 103 again, make sure I didn't leave something out. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. Thank you, Father, and this is the way you do it. Thank you, Father, you put it in your mouth that you have forgiven all of mine and my family's iniquities. You have healed each one of all of our diseases. You have redeemed, oh, I forgot about that one, redeemed our lives from every type of destruction. Oh, say that with me now. Thank you, Father. That's one of your benefits, that you have redeemed my life and my family's life from every type of destruction, from physical destruction, from family relationship destruction, from financial destruction, from every type of destruction. You have crowned us with your loving kindness and tender mercies. You satisfy our mouths with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. And that is so powerful. So take the, that scripture, put it on a note card or print it out, put it before your eyes, put it in your mouth and start acknowledging that by faith and the word of God. God will perform his word for you in Jesus name. We'll get some more scriptures that are medicine to all of our flesh tomorrow, but write these down and acknowledge them according to Philemon that we, the communication of our faith, as we acknowledge those good things that are in us in Christ Jesus. Remember all day, Jesus is your Lord and his word is your most valuable possession.